This is Dr. B, and in this video, we're going to look at why we balance chemical equations, why we find those coefficients there. And the big reason, we want to find the ratios between each substance. And I'll show you why that's important. So let's just balance this equation. I can see that I have one oxygen here and two here. So what I can do is I can change this coefficient. That means that I have two times one, two oxygens, because this two, it goes to everything here but I have two times one, two magnesiums. Easy enough to fix though. Now I have two magnesiums and that's the balanced equation. Now here's how you use this equation to figure out all kinds of chemistry problems. These numbers, two, it's not written, but it's there, one and two, they are the coefficients, but they're also the ratio between the substances here. For every two magnesiums, you have one oxygen molecule and you get two magnesium oxide formula units, two to one to two. But if you had four, say you started out with four magnesium atoms here, two to one, four is to two as, well, cut four in half, two is to one. So you'd only need two oxygen molecules and two is to two as four is to four. You'd end up with four MgO. We can also think of this as moles. If you had four moles here of magnesium, you'd need two moles of oxygen and you'd get four moles of MgO or any number. So let's try some different numbers. So pause and try this. If you had 1.2 moles of magnesium, how many moles of oxygen would you need to react completely? And how many moles of magnesium oxide would you get? 1.2 is to 2 as well, we cut it in half, so 0.6 moles of oxygen. And since 2 and 2, they're the same, 1.2 moles of magnesium oxide. But there's another way we could do this. Let me show you that real quick. We could just set it up as a ratio. 1.2 is to 2 as x is to 1. And we just cross multiply. 2 times x equals 1.2 times 1. So 1.2 divide both sides by 2. Now we're left with x and 1.2 divided by 2 is 0 0.6 moles. So it's the same thing, but now we're just using this ratio here, really using the mole ratio. And if you found MgO, it would be 1.2. So let me give you one here to try using this little ratio trick. We'll use the same equation here. If you have 7.26 moles of magnesium, a number I just made up, how many moles of oxygen do you need for the reaction to go to completion? So 7.26 is to 2 as x is to 1. We cross multiply 2x equals 7.26 and we're going to divide by 2 here and by 2 here and we get 3.6 three moles of our oxygen. So this is kind of the quicker way to do it. It's kind of a fast and easy way. Your teacher probably will have other ways they'd like you to do this as well. But when you're just trying to understand this concept, using the mole ratio here with the balanced equation, it's really powerful. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.